New at 11, Clovis Unified announcing plans for a return to school during the pandemic. After hours of discussion, the board unanimously voted tonight to allow students back on campus next month. Our AJ Cano joins us live now. And AJ, they say the community overwhelmingly asked for this option. Alexon, yes, and the majority of parents who spoke tonight say online classes simply don't work. Now, the district will still offer an online only option, and they say it'll be much better than last time around. Clovis Unified School District board members casting their votes for how the upcoming school year will look. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? A unanimous vote for a traditional five day school schedule after considering the other option, a hybrid two days a week on campus, three days of distance. Parents will still have an online only option. Wednesday's meeting drew lengthy discussion and public comment. Many parents speaking out from the boardroom and by calling into the meeting. Distance learning does not work for everybody. It works for some, but not for all. We have to have our kids back in school. I know my four kids won't be going back to school. I will either homeschool them or put them in distance learning full time. Because as a responsible parent, I can't send them back to school knowing that there are no answers to my questions. Other parents sharing concerns over what distance learning will look like, especially for students who have specific needs. Many disappointed by their last experience. My son is nonverbal and autistic. We have been trying to help him access distance learning since March. Many asking the district for better communication and teaching models. Superintendent Emer O'Farrell says online instruction will be much more fine-tuned this fall, and parents will be able to get a preview of exactly what to expect. She also says the board's decision is not set in stone and could still change as the COVID-19 situation evolves. Whatever instruction delivery model that our board decides on tonight, Clovis Unified is structuring our master schedule so that it can pivot pretty much immediately if things change and if uh, mandates change. The first day of school is August 17th and the district is asking families to commit to whichever they mo model they choose for at least six weeks. Reporting live in Clovis, AJ Cotto, KC24 Local News That Matters.